Welcome Capricorn. This is your Terrascope. We're going to go ahead and see what the cards have to say for you. Whatever messages show up is what we're going to go with. This is not leaning towards a certain theme, so it's just whatever's showing up. As always, this is a general reading, so just take the messages that resonate with you, leave the ones that don't. If you would like a personal reading pertaining specifically to you and your situation, you can contact me. My contact info is in the description box below. If you do like this message and it resonates with you, please give me a like, leave me a comment, let me know how things are playing out, and subscribe if you have not already done so. So your first card here from the Moonology deck is Prosperity Lies Ahead. Okay, so there's some, maybe that's what you've been working on, saving your coins, saving your money, prosperity lies ahead. With Capricorn, we all know that Capricorns are hard workers. Sometimes they can be workaholics because they're so focused on wanting that financial security that financial security, financial stability, just to have that peace of mind. And now you know your hard work will be paying off because prosperity is coming in towards you. Now from here, the moon deck, what is the message for Capricorn? I am on the right path and divinely guided. So if you ever questioned if you were doing the right thing, if you're on the right path, you know, towards your money goals or to or towards your goals in general, the answer is yes. All right, you're on the right path. You're being divinely guided. So pay attention to your thoughts, synchronicities, things that you may see as a coincidence. Pay attention to all that stuff. Okay, now from the holographic tarot, you have the Hermit and the Six of Swords. And the Page of Cups. And let's get one more card because they're just all jumping out today. All right, so first off, you have the Hermit here. This is what we're starting with, the Hermit. Those are the clarifiers. So the Hermit and the Eight of Cups. This is you walking away from something or putting an end to something that you that isn't bringing you happiness. True emotional happiness, emotional fulfillment. All right, there's something you feel unsatisfied. It's like you feel a hole or you feel an empty space and you're not sure what is it that is going to make you feel fulfilled? What is it that's gonna make you feel whole, that's gonna bring you that happiness, that is going to give you that feeling like you made it or that you're successful? Um, and the answer is within you. Now, the, the Hermit is Virgo's card, so you can be dealing with a Virgo. If not, then this is just their and the energy of the hermit which is looking within stop looking for external circumstances to show that you made it or to make you feel happy from material sources or external influences you have to find the happiness within that's what it is is going on the solo journey having to take time for yourself to do things on your own to and to find what makes you happy and this may include leaving somebody behind okay because we have the seven of swords here um to clarify the six of swords so the seven of swords is a card that indicates it you know the traditional thing it's a liar cheater stealer so this can be a relationship issue this can be a monetary issue like a co-worker boss supervisor or whatever um someone may not have been being honest with you or because of something that happened in the past whether it was a lot a lie you found out your partner cheated or 
deceived you in some way someone betrayed your trust someone has deceived you in some way or another or this can be you remember roles can always be reversed so this can be the person or this can be you this could have been a habit that you had or something that you did that maybe you're not you know proud of now and you're leaving that because that didn't bring you fulfillment that didn't bring you you know that didn't fill the void like you thought it would again because it was being you were using it for you know trying to find something external to fill this internal hole all right um so like i said you or the person you're dealing with but whether it's you or them you're leaving it behind you're moving forward because you want peace you want tranquility and by you taking this time and going within yourself then this is you know you're able to realize you know oh what i did in the past it wasn't right you know i have to change i have to better myself you know or dealing with that person that person was toxic for me that person wasn't for me that person wasn't bringing me happiness you know i need to leave that alone so i can move forward and find or do what truly makes me happy you know so however it applies to you then you have the page of cups here this is this person if this if this is somebody else and not you then that person can be coming in to offer an apology for what they did and it may bring you some type of closure, some type of clarity, but in the end, you're still hurt. And I don't think that you want anything to do with this person. I feel like you're going to shut them out. You're going to shut them out um, because you don't want them taking any more from you than they already did. Um, also, if this was you you know and you did something in the past that you you know you're not too thrilled thrilled about um you can as you're going within and you know reflecting and stuff like that and then you come across like you know what i did mess up i did hurt this person i wasn't honest or you know i cheated on this person whatever the case is then this can be you offering them an apology you know you trying to make amends and that person it can be hurt and they may not be as uh, receptive of the apology because they could be feeling like it's kind of long overdue you know or what's your end game like trying to fill you out like well what's your end game because you know put the the shoe on the other foot like what if you know you were on the receiving end of that how would you feel dealing with someone who broke your trust so you know they they don't really believe it all the way they're not sure you know they're happy that the apology is coming you know because they needed that for some type of closure and that would definitely help you with some of your karma but all in all i don't i don't see anything with this person moving forward this is a solo journey that you need to be on and you will get the answers to what will make you happy, what will make you feel fulfilled, what is the best business venture for you to do, the best way to invest money or whatever it is because you're focused on your money, Capricorns are. But in this sense, it even though the, the initial message showed prosperity, it may not be talking about financial prosperity because the word prosperity and the word abundance means different things for different people usually the go-to meaning is something of monetary value however in this what i'm getting more it's you're looking more for a emotional fulfillment and emotional happiness because right now i don't feel that you're really happy you're not really happy you're not emotionally fulfilled it's like there's a void there like a dullness a emptiness it's just like a blah um 
So you can be content in your current circumstances. Nothing really negative can be happening aside from, you know, uh, either something you've done in the past, you know, that you want to make amends for, you want to do better, or, you know, whatever this situation was with the person you're dealing with. Um, aside from that, it's nothing negative aside from this card right here, but it's guiding you to dig deeper within you have to connect more on a spiritual level you have to go and trust your intuition you need to listen to yourself stop trying to shut it out stop um trying to be distracted with it, what's going on in the outside world and focus more on what's going in within you especially with this card i am on the right path and divinely guided all right right now you're being divinely guided to go within to be by yourself this hermit to have this hermit energy where you're focusing on yourself you're going within to learn some type of knowledge or to connect more spiritually to find what is it that will what is it that will make you feel happy make you feel fulfilled and why only you know that you know buying a car or a house flashy clothes this that and the third all the materialistic stuff it's not cutting it for you yeah it gives you a sense of safety and security but it's not doing anything for you on the emotional aspect so financially you may feel secure but emotionally you're unsatisfied if that makes sense so just go within and see what's revealed to you all right capricorn so this is the message that i have for you i hope it makes sense i hope it's what you needed to hear give me a like drop me a comment and until next time many blessings